Welcome back to my channel. This is Olani Daily. Back at it again with Olani Daily. Sexy. What it's like dating someone with locks. He takes all my hair ties. All of them. All of them. <laughs> so today we are going to talk about the show Girlfriends. All right. Girlfriends. Girlfriends. <laughs> Into the end, my girlfriend. Okay. Hey. I think the part that I really enjoy about this show is the fact that it's like four girls, African, well, four women, African Americans in their late 20s, early 30s, and they're just going through life. You know, one is a lawyer, one is a real estate agent, one is just trying to figure out how to go through life, and one is a receptionist assistant type of thing. So, I, I don't know. I feel like it's like the only show that I really know of that kind of works like that, that really just goes through the struggles of just like a girl group. I think now, when I see it on TV, it's more in a teenager perspective, maybe they're in high school, going through some high school drama, but you know, I'm not in high school anymore. So it's really, it's a little hard for me to relate to these things and like continue watching shows like this. So I instantly connected with this show because even though they all have such different personalities, I feel like there's parts of me in each person. For, first off, Joan, I think Joan may be most like me because she's a bit of an ambitious go-getter. You know, she's a lawyer, whatnot, but... And Joan? Oh, what? Come on. I don't have any issues. I'm perfect. <laughs> she just, she just be making some stupid choices sometimes, you know? She just does the most sometimes. And I feel like I can do that too. I feel like she comes at things with good intentions, but it's literally, she does it in like the worst way possible. <laughs> and I feel like I'm goofy like that. So I appreciate Joan for that. My boyfriend's back and he's coming to see me. Hey now! And then Tony. Honestly, Tony kind of just like wishy-washy to me. I feel like she tries to be a good friend, but man, she really isn't. <laughs> and, and Tony try not to be so judgmental. I feel like the part I appreciate about Tony though is that she's really high class, you know, even during the scenes where she was going through debt, she lost her job, she lost her husband or her fiance, boyfriend, about to lose her house. It's like, she still holds herself so like calm and like, mm, she's still the baddest she's still got high standards like she's still like isn't one to settle which is something i appreciate about tony my man is finer than any of these fine men in here oh whatever helps you deal with the fact they're all looking at me babe <laughs> next we have lynn and lynn you know she she been in school for a minute she got like three master's degrees kind of mooching off joan a little bit and her other friends staying at their apartment being like oh i'm still in school so please help me while i'm still in school but then when she graduates school she goes back in school and then does the same thing again joan no but she is my sister no. where is she now lynn i don't know magic johnson theaters magic johnson starbucks magic johnson's house and i relate to that as well you know i really do because it's like I feel myself just continuing going back to school. I graduated in May 2019 and I've been out of school for two years, but now I'm trying to get back into school. I just like being a student, you know, I don't really wanna, I don't really wanna do the adult thing just yet. So I, I get you, Lynn, I do, I understand you, Lynn. Because when you use that word, only one of us gets hurt. And then Maya, Maya is, Maya is real sassy. I think she's the sassiest one of all. I like her character a lot because I feel like she's super outspoken. She says what other people are thinking and she doesn't really care how other people feel or not really. I think she does care how other people feel, but she says what needs to be said, even if she knows that it hurts. It may hurt them 
and it's hard for her to say, it's like she kind of eases into those hard moments and she'll be the one to speak up. And Maya, don't go there. No, 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 I need to speak my mind or bitch slap her. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and say something. I appreciate that about Maya because I think that we all keep saying all, oh, but let me just talk about me. Sometimes, you know, I wanna just dive into those tough, tough moments and say what needs to be said out loud, not really necessarily caring at that moment, but just saying it because you know it's something that needs to be said and it's going to create hurt at that moment, but probably going to create less hurt in together. <laughs> what? Two? Love you! <laughs> I liked it better when you and Darnell were fighting. <laughs> Don't hate just because y'all are some lonely spinsters. So I really appreciate each four of those characters. I feel like they're like my big sisters that I'm watching on the TV and also like my friends at the same time. So it's amazing. I like that show. I think Girlfriends started running in like 2000s, 2001, maybe give or take. So I was like three, four years old then. So I never watched the show growing up. One thing that I do like about Girlfriends though is that they talk about some real deep stuff. Like some real, real, real deep stuff. I didn't tell you ahead of time because I didn't want to hear all of this. Oh, what? All y'all's racist talk. I ain't racist, I just don't care. <laughs> and I surely ain't racist. I'm a God-fearing Christian woman. Mama, you are racist. When I was dating Hassan, you ran him off just because he was a Muslim. Mm-hmm. What is wrong with pork? <laughs> and I'm not saying that they don't talk about it in other shows, but I feel like um, a lot of the shows I watch today, like, you know, Shit's Creek, for example. That's like a really big and popping show that's happening now. And I do love that show. I think it's really funny. I haven't finished it. I've watched a couple seasons, but the problems that they have are not problems that I'm going through. I cannot necessarily relate to a lot of these characters and their storylines. Lynn, sweetie, you know what? We all have relatives with issues, right? Like my Uncle James, who became my Aunt Janice, who now thinks he's Mexican. <laughs> They actually talk about a lot of health related problems and addictions in the show that I think is really cool. Like for example, Joan was dating a man who is a sex addict. Man truly struggling, like he goes to meetings for it. He's trying to be staying abstinent for two two years. And I thought that was pretty cool because I think pe people are just so quick to be like, yeah, you're addicted to sex and like that's it. But some people actually go through some real struggles. Like some people are truly addicted. They want help. They can't have intimate relationships like this man on the show and you know, it's kind of sad, like, so it made me kind of look at him differently and think about interactions that I've seen with, like, you know, in the college days with some friends who are just, like, crazy into sex, like, you kind of think, like, hmm, maybe they're actually going through something. So that's the thing about this show. I feel like when I meet a new character in the show that's going through something that I've seen in relation to my life, it kind of makes me look at the perspectives from my life a little differently as opposed to a lot of the sh other shows that I watch nowadays, I don't really have that connection. Like I don't have that, I don't relate to a lot of it. So it's just me laughing to laugh. I'm not thinking about it too much, but the cool thing about Girlfriends, it's like, yeah, I'm laughing. I'm not thinking too deep into it, but I'm actually gaining some lessons from it as well. One more episode I'm gonna talk about that I thought was also really cool, but Tony is now getting married, which I need to rewind some episodes because I'm a little bit lost here. <laughs> but Tony's getting married and she invited this girl to be her bridesmaid. And I guess this new girl, her name is Reese and Joan have some beef. Like Reese, took Joan's boyfriend and now she's married to him with like kids and stuff and Joan is super jealous, hates Reed. Hey, Huggy. Bye, Joan. Come on, Huggy. <laughs> so when she actually confronts Reese after all these years, Reese is like, hey, yeah, I took him in and I'm really sorry, but you know, things aren't always greener on the other side. Like, I know that you envy me and wish that it was you, but no. You want my happy life? Yeah. You want Brian? Yeah. Fine, you can have him. And you can have the AIDS he gave me too. Like, as soon as she said AIDS, everyone was like, <gasps> just like trying to stay as far back as possible because probably more in that time, they don't didn't know too much about AIDS. So they just kind of assumed the worst when she said it and they kind of scooted away from her. And, she, and then Reese, who's the girl with AIDS, uh, she got really sad. She was like, no guys, it's not like that. It can only be spread through this way, like blood and semen. Like it's not, I can't just like cough on you and you get it type of thing. And they're like, oh, really? And then they start having this deep discussion. Like they started asking some more questions about AIDS. I'm stable on my meds. My viral load is down. Full blown AIDS. Don't worry, girl. This is an outbreak. It's not airborne. 
friends that they talk about these deep issues that affects people their it affects their friends their families their community and they're just so willing to speak about it in a way where you don't even know that you're kind of being woked at <laughs> but you are and I would love to see more shows like this. So if you guys actually know any more shows like Girlfriends or something like that, I know that Netflix just put a whole bunch of black sitcoms on there and I'm so excited to watch them all. Like, the, I see The Parker's on there, Half and Half is on there, Moesha's on there, Sister Sister's on there. Like, I'm gonna watch every single one of those shows. But yeah, I, I've just been really excited to watch Girlfriends. So I thought I'd get on the camera and show my really cheesy TikTok video and just like see what you guys think. What do you guys think about the characters? Who are your favorites? Who do you think that you relate to the most? Is it Joan? Is it Maya? Is it Lynn? Is it Tony? And what lessons have you learned from this show? Hmm? What lessons have you learned? A lot of the ones that kind of peek out to me are the ones that are medically related, just because like I'm so interested in the medical field. Even though these shows are old, like they may have been on TV like 20 years ago, they're still so relevant to my life now and it just kind of makes me think that a lot of the problems that people go through just kind of repeats itself like there's no new problems in life anymore because any problem that i have like i'm seeing joan on girlfriends had the same problem like 20 years ago so it kind of makes me want to reach out to more people and you know when i'm going through some tough times and just kind of get advice from people who are older than me because now i see that i'm no different i'm really no different so get yourself some girlfriends i need some girlfriends anyone want to be my friend like let me know follow me on instagram email me <laughs> and let's talk hey,